Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie and we are going to be learning Mr. Blue Sky on the ukulele. This song revolves around two core parts with a couple of variations here and there, but if you learn these two main parts, you really know all of the song. So let's get started with the intro, which is really an F for 16 counts or F for four measures. And you're just going to be strumming down because when you listen to the track, you just hear that four on the floor, that bum, 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 like that. So when I strum, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Hear that? You could just strum down, but you're probably hearing my ukulele. There's a little bit of a stop there. Do you hear that? Bop, 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 bop. Like, how do you make it bouncy? So what happens immediately after I strum, I release the pressure off of the strings. Now it creates enough stop to just create some space. It doesn't have to be super fancy. We're not gonna be doing a left-handed muting, like a full true left-handed mute, unless you wanted to. In the track, I'm not doing it because it goes by really quickly. So this is the intro. One, two, three, four, one, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we have reached part one that I call it, which is really the verse. And we have an F for three measures, an E minor seven for half a measure, A seven for half a measure, and then a D minor for a full measure. Okay, so this is what it's going to sound like. Sun is shining in the sky. There ain't a cloud inside. Okay, now I'm going to be adding a strumming pattern, which is down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. So we have one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and if you're feeling Olympic. You could strum down on quarter notes if you want to the entire time, but if you want to just spice it up a little bit, and what I use in the play along is this strumming pattern. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, so here we have F, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Sun is shining in the sky, there ain't a... Now when we get to this part right here, I'm just going to be strumming down on that split measure. So it's just E7 and then A7, sorry, E minor 7. You can hear that little stop again. I'm still doing that left-handed muting on that part. Here that creates enough space in between the notes just to make it a little more bouncy. Moves it forward, doesn't it? All right, so I'm also doing that here on the F chord. So I have the squeeze, release, squeeze, release, and then on the down, up, down, up, I'm just going to keep the chord as is. I'm not going to left-hand mute there. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, down, up, down, up. Squeeze, squeeze, down, up, down, up. Squeeze, squeeze, down, up, down, up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then D minor. Squeeze, squeeze, down, up, down, up. Now we get to a G. To an E minor. And an A7. Then we go to a B flat. Now for this C, you can use this C if you'd like to, but if you're feeling Olympic, and this is what I use in the play along, I take this B flat shape and then I slide it up two frets. So that is also a C. You could bar, oh, excuse me, there it is, the entire first fret if you want to, and then move up. Depends upon your finger shape and what you're comfortable with. Here I'm using this one that looks like stairs. And then we have the C. And I like this because every single string is covered by a finger, right? And so when I do that left-handed muting where I squeeze and then I release the pressure, wow, it really creates that space. Can you hear it? And then slide up. Then I go back to an F. And then a regular C. Because I like. 
like the variety but we are going to be using this shape later in the song just trust me okay <laughs> okay so let's try that from the very beginning of the verse very slowly whatever strumming pattern you want to use but i'm going to be using the down 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 up down up here we go and down down to verse 2 it's the same as I just taught you so that is the first part now the second part is Mr. Blue Sky please tell us why we have a D minor an F B flat F G minor F E flat and then a B flat I love that <laughs> it's so much fun now you can hear some hits in the track we have mr blue sky please tell us why you had to hide away for so long where did we go wrong all right so what we're going to do here is what i hear in the track so first you're going to hold a d minor you're going to strum and then you're going to take your palm and you are going to mute your strings like that immediately after just to create an abrupt staccato or just an abrupt stop one, two, three, four. Now, on the F chord, you're going to strum down on counts one and two. One, two, three, four. But I muted those strings right afterwards, right? Because space. We need that space. All right, so D minor, strum down on count one. And then for F, we strum down on counts one and two. So we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now for the counts for B flat and for F, they're the same counts that I just taught you for the D minor and the F. So we have a B flat, strum down once, mute those strings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try that first whole line, D minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, B flat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we go to a G minor, same counts as we had done before. It's like in every other, we're switching off every other. G minor strum once, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now hold an E flat and we're gonna be doing some finger picking here. My thumb is going to pluck the C string, then my index finger, the E string, and then my middle finger, the A string, and then my index will pluck the E string again. So one, two, three, four, and then we have a B flat, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to pluck the C string, the E string, and then the A string, and I let the A string ring out for the rest of the measure. All right, so it'll sound like this E flat, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I'll do that again, here we go. Thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle. All right, let's try that entire chorus. We have D minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, B flat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, G minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, pluck. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We repeat that, and then to come out of that to transition back into the uh, like an instrumental, which are really the verse chords, we have a C chord, and we strum down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Then we go back into the verse chords, but it's a guitar solo. <laughs> So now that we've learned the structure for the verses and the structure for the choruses, you can just flip flop in between because it just repeats itself in cycles over and over and over again. There is one thing that is a little different in the last verse. 
So it sounds like this. We have Mr. Blue, you did it right. But soon comes Mr. Nye, creeping over. Now his hand is on your shoulder, never mind. I'll remember you this. I'll remember you this way. Ooh. So remember I told you that we were going to use this shape for uh, later in the song? This is it. So we have a B flat. C. D flat. And then an E flat. And then D minor. We go back into a chorus. But you see how I'm changing chords, but I'm using the same shape and I'm just sliding up certain frets. So B flat is on the first fret, third fret, uh, sorry, second fret and third fret. And then we slide up to the C. So index fingers on the third fret. We slide up to a D flat, just slide over one. Now we're on fret number four with the index finger. Then we slide over two for an E flat. Yeah, you can use this E flat, no problem. Uh, you could use this, this, D flat if you'd like to. I just thought it was just really fun because you're using the same shape and you're just sliding up the neck. That's the beauty of the bar chord is that you don't really have to do so much or just like finger gymnastics of flipping between this part of the fretboard and this part of, part of the fretboard. You have this and then you hit a D minor. <laughs> Almost a D. We want a D minor though. Okay, let's try that. So we have down, 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 up, down, up, start on the B flat. Down, 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 up, third fret, fourth fret, sixth fret, D minor. Yay! So that's really fun just to be able to have something just so different, uh, a little unexpected. And it's a technique that you could use in other songs as well. So the play along is next so that you can hear how everything fits together. And uh, speaking of unexpected, as I was tracking this, I started to add some drum beats underneath and I accidentally added a Latin beat to this. And I actually thought it was pretty cool. So get ready for Latin Mr. Blue Sky <laughs> for the play along. I hope you enjoy it. I hope that it just has like a, you know, a fun breath of fresh air for you rather than the uh, other version that you've heard before. But hope it brings a smile to your face and happy playing. See you in a bit. Mr. Knight, creeping over, 
remember you this I'll remember you this way Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why You had to hide away for so long Where did we go wrong? Hey there, Mr. Blue We're so pleased to be with you Look around, see what you do Everybody smiles at you Hey there, Mr. Blue We're so pleased to be with you Look around, see what you do Everybody smiles at you Hey, if you liked this video, I have some more free tutorials over here. And if you want to learn the guitar, but you just have no place to start, I made a beginner's guitar course for you, the very beginner in mind. I'm gonna leave it over here in the cards, right here, and I will see you in the next one. And remember, you are loved. Bye.